You really didn't hear that? I did not hear that. It was like something just stepped right, right in through there. Huh. What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another Dart Frog Adventure. Tonight we are out here at the Haunted Golf Frisbee Course. Uh, actually Bandit's Cove. I'm out here with my good friend Yemi and uh, we're gonna check it out because they're doing some construction out here. Uh, usually when there's construction going on in a place that has paranormal activity, it usually stirs it up pretty good. Uh, last time Yemi and I were out here, we found some interesting stuff. Um, like on Halloween, there was a wood chipper over by the building over there something threw a stick at it or it popped for some reason and as soon as all three of us looked at it you could hear some footsteps running right behind us it was crazy but uh, anyhow we're out here at haunted bandits cove and we're going to check it out this is a uh, par 16 or par 18 and only uh right at the moment they only have 16 uh pars open or uh, uh whatever it's called it'd be par wouldn't it Amy? yeah uh, yeah so, yeah, so they're getting ready to install two more uh, tomorrow. Uh, they're going to have, I don't know if you can see these big structures right here behind me. But, uh, yeah, they're getting ready to put in two more pads, the final two pads. So it should be pretty interesting out here. We're going to check it out. Uh, it's a little windy out here, so hopefully the wind doesn't sound like a tornado on the, on the camera for you guys. Uh, I do apologize if it does sound bad. Hopefully it doesn't. But uh, we're going to go ahead and start walking around and checking this place out. All right, which direction do you want to go, Yimmy? Whichever. Do you want to go to the huts first, or do you want to follow the river down here? Okay. So yeah, we're going to cut right across and go over to the huts here. Usually, there's a lot of crazy activity in the huts. Ah, that was a stick. <laughs> Can't really see anything because my light's right there in my eye. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and head into the huts. The huts are just like right over here. So I think this is the first course we can actually get to the haunted huts from back here when we first originally come down here the urban legend was that uh, over at the haunted huts we'll show you the haunted huts here in a second but uh, around the huts there's always like footsteps that run around it careful you there's a big ditch right here yeah I see that little bridge uh, the urban legend was that there would be footsteps that would run around the hut after you or follow you whatever type of thing uh, last time Yimmy and Marnay were down here with me, they went over to the huts. Yimmy had a spirit box and something invited him to go into the huts. Um, but yeah, there's some, just some really strange, crazy stuff that happens down here at Haunted Bandits Cove. So we're going to check it out a little bit tonight and see what happens. Here is, I, I believe this is the first tee. Yeah. I think it is. There it is. Yeah, they got this ditch going on here now. I don't know if you can see that yeah. with a little bridge. That wasn't there before. This is new. Uh, like I said, they're, they've been doing some remodeling out here. So it's really going to stir up some stuff. I brought my K2 with me. Do you have your K2, Jimmy? Yeah, I do. Okay, so Yimmy has his K2 as well as I do. Um, he His spirit box is dead right at the moment, so we're probably not going to use that tonight. But uh, every time we get down here, something strange happens when we get down here. I don't see any eyes up there. Uh -uh. So the haunted huts are just right off in front of us. I'm gonna head over here and see if I can see anything up on this hill. Some of the stuff that happens down here <coughs> is uh, you hear a lot of strange noises. Uh, we've heard whistles from out here. Uh, we've heard footsteps run past behind us. Uh, there's been stuff that has like flown past us. We're not sure if it's like a owl or, because it, it's bigger than a bat, that's for sure. We weren't sure if it's an owl oh, or. I left my meter in the car. Oh, you left your meter in the car? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, you want to use mine? Yeah, we can use yours. Okay. It's in, in with my GoPro. Oh boy. I grab my GoPro, but I grab the meter. There's my Yimmy, you can use it whenever. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of strange stuff that happens down here. 
Careful, you know, there's a big ditch right here too. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But yeah, they're digging stuff up. There's another little bridge right there. Yemi's gonna head over that way. Yeah, Yemi's gonna go across that little bridge right there. And we're gonna head off that way to the hut. So it looks like they're... I hope they didn't tear those things down. <laughs> Otherwise, that'd be bad news. Yeah. There's a haunted... Uh, there, no. <coughs> There's a waterfall up that direction. So we have to go up to the huts right there. What is that? Oh, that's a light up there. Um, so we have to go this direction then up for the waterfall. And the first time that uh, Wild West Kid and I come down here, uh, there was some really strange stuff that happened. We were hearing a lot of like pops like that just happened. So we heard a loud pop on her and we got it on video. <clears throat> We've heard like sticks break behind us. Nothing's in them. We turn right around, there's nothing there. Supposedly there's supposed to be a cryptid down here. Uh, we brought strawberries last time. So we're gonna go over to the water trough at some point and check it out. But uh, here's the haunted huts. The reason why we call them the haunted huts is because all those branches hitting together. Uh, yeah, like I said, there's some strange stuff that happens down here. These huts right here have always been the main. That was loud. Strange stuff happens here. You we just heard something. Um, like I was saying last time, while I was kidding out here. Yeah. That's the leaf pile. Yeah. You can't right there. Two up on the back seat, tailing in there. Oh yeah, kitty kitty. He's right up there. I don't know if you guys can see him or not. He's going up the thing. He has a kitty cat. But yeah, there's been some strange stuff that's happened down here. And we haven't been down here for what, 10 minutes or so? Yeah. Uh, tonight is a, a 12 a.m. challenge up here at the Haunted Huts and Discourse. Uh, so we're going to work our way around here a little while, uh, a little ways, and go over by the utility plant, waterfall, and just check out some of the crazy stuff that happens down here. There's one time that Wild West Kid and I were down here and we heard a loud pop come from right over there as we're walking by that golf tee. So I'm going to show you guys around over here a little bit. See, they got some more structures going on right there. Got another pad they're putting in right there. Yeah. So they're going to go ahead and close this place down uh, tomorrow for the next couple days to get everything finished up and whatnot. So we thought for sure that we'd get back in here before they closed it down for a couple days. Because as they're doing construction, it's really opened up this place a lot. And it's moved a lot of the activity from here and it's spread around this whole entire area. So instead of just being in this pretty much this spot right here where we're at right now, it's all over the place out here. And uh, this is uh, this uh, golf course is supposed to be on a professional tour here at some point soon. So I'll, I'll try to keep you guys updated on that as well once I find out more about that and whatnot. Uh, but I'll go ahead and I'll post a, I found a um, picture of the layout of the course, so I'll post that in the video here for you guys. Those must be the branches slapping together. Yeah, those are branches clacking together from the wind. Oh, oh, we just got hit on the meter. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah, there it goes. Now, strange stuff always happens around these huts. Uh, if you were watching my last uh, video that I did, I did a vlog over at the Witch's Tree, and I was explaining some strange stuff that happens. They always happen around these huts for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe we just got a hit on the K2 meter. Oh, those trees creaking. 
Yeah, that used to be all the way across over here. Yeah. So, can I see the K2 meter, Yemi? Mm -hmm. I think that was a tree. Okay, so I got the K2 meter right here. I'm gonna go over here by the huts a little bit closer. These things usually go off by the huts. This is not a stud finder, so there's no reason why this should be blinking once it gets close to the wood here. He's literally about going into this place. See? Put it right on the tree. If this was a stud finder, it would be blinking right now. This is a K2 meter. This is for electronical interference. Alright, Yimmy, I'll let you monitor the K2. If it, anything happens, let me know. What was that? I don't know. Something just popped over here. I don't know if you guys heard that on the camera or not. You gonna head that way, Yumi? Yeah. Alright. That's a plane that here right now, I think. I don't know if you guys are hearing that noise. Sounds like an engine room, but there should be no, no there no should noise. be no vehicle, no vehicles are allowed back here. Something sounds like it's running over there. So we're going to head that way and see what's going on. Is it the building itself running? Yeah. Okay. That's trippy because it sounds like there's stuff coming from behind us. Okay, so they have a fan or something running inside that building. That's what we're hearing. We were wondering because it was tripping us, tripping us out because it makes it sound like there's stuff coming from behind us too. Water trough is just right up here. So there was a. It was a, it was the haunted frisbee discourse, our Halloween video, that there's a wood chipper in there, and something threw something at that wood chipper. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check out that video. It's a pretty good video. I think those are trees squeaking. Crickets. I hear I'm hearing like little things jumping on the ground the crickets. Um, so yeah, it's probably it's right around uh, 12 15 right now. Uh, we should be over to the waterfall by about 12 30 or so. Okay, so I'm gonna put the K2 away for a little while. So here's something that I've always found interesting too is due to the fact that this is a haunted golf course they put in these little nooses like these little hanging posts <laughs> what do you think about that Yemi? um it's you know being haunted it's 
it's not too inviting for people. If, if they don't know anything about it, then good. If people like us that know what's back here, it's <laughs> something <laughs> I would never do. Yeah, exactly. Did you hear that sound like a whistle? That was a whistle. Yeah, exactly. Did you hear that sound like a whistle? That was a whistle. I mean, it came from back over there. So, <clears throat> this used to be the way that we used to have to get up to the waterfall. We used to have to walk through this whole entire channel. It's a dry uh, channel, like a riverbed type of thing. It's dry. But we used to have to walk all the way from over there, all the way up there. There's a natural spring right here in front of me. Oh yeah, I can see that you can tell they had water running down through here. Oh, the ground's wet. Yeah, it is. Hear that? Yeah, there's water coming down the waterfall. No, I just heard some voices again. I just heard a whoo. There's a natural spring right there. I'm gonna pull out my K2 meter. There's usually stuff that happens around here too. Smells musty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my K2 is going off. It usually goes off by this tree in this natural spring. Can hear the water coming down the waterfall. Yeah, the, I can hear that now. I'm now I'm closer. Yeah, K2 is pretty quiet tonight. So we're gonna head over by the waterfall right now. <clears throat> Go check that out, it sounds like it's running. <clears throat> Last time Yimmy and I got in here, we were with Marnay, and uh, we heard a grunt back here. It was really weird. There was nothing that we could see that made that grunt, but it sounded like it was right next to us. And we were also walking down from the waterfall and something stepped on a stick behind us, but there was nothing behind us. You can hear the stick pop, I caught it in the video. Now the waterfall's running. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys up by the waterfall real fast so you can check that out. It's pretty cool. It's one of my favorite spots. I think that was Jimmy's like that cut out of the corner of my eye. Uh, there was one night that uh, it was the Wild West kid and Marnay and I. We were walking down from the waterfall and something flew past us. Something big. We think it was an owl, but we're not sure. Yeah, there's some construction material that they're going to be putting in for a platform up here. There's the waterfall. Coming down. It's running down over there. But it's getting down in these rocks right here and sinking into the ground or disappearing. Try to pull out the K2 meter again.
There's reflectors over there. It's pretty quiet on the K2 tonight, Amy. Did you hear that? I did not hear that. You really didn't hear that? I did not hear that. It was like something that stepped right in through there. Huh. You heard that? That chirping, whatever that was? Yeah. Yeah, I heard that. Oh, well, I'm all goosebumped up. That's some of the strange noises that we hear out here. And that's not an animal sound, that's for sure. No. That's something completely, something different. So hopefully that got caught on camera, because that's one of the trippy noises that we hear out here. And that's not an animal of any known animal that we have out here. Uh, like I said, there's supposed to be cryptids out here. Whether that's true or not, like I said, it's all an urban legend. But all I know is strange stuff happens out here. And that came from over here. The other haunted hut is back in that area somewhere. That was strange. I don't think there's anybody else out here, but I was hearing voices when we were over there by the yeah. uh, waterfall. Yeah. Seems like back there in that back corner along that ridge so back there is really active. That goes down there by the river and there's a tea back in there. Yeah, that trail right there, Yumi, mm -hmm. I think that's the one that we were on in our uh, last video that we did out here, mm -hmm. and that uh, on your box said something was coming. Yeah. So I think we are on like up in there, but we were getting ready to come down this side. Yeah. But when we were up there, Amy Spirit Box picked up something and said, something's coming. So what we did is we just turned right around and went right back out the way we came. Yep. Um, the best thing to do is just, when you hear something like that, you turn off your box uh like if you're going to use one of those spirit boxes be very careful you need to say a prayer beforehand say a prayer afterwards uh try to keep yourself as safe as possible uh and to respect the fact that if something says they don't want you there leave uh it's for your safety it's you know chances are they're going to get pretty hasty with you if you're not uh listening to what they're saying So we're gonna go this way because this is the main trail here, Yumi. Mm -hmm. So we're back at eight. Yeah. yeah, like I said, I got a picture of how the golf course is laid out. I was able to Google it. So I'll drop that picture in the video for you guys so you guys can see how the how this is all clustered in together. I'll highlight some of the stuff on there the best I can for you guys uh, when I post it so you can see it. Um, like I was saying, this, is, this course is supposed to be on a professional tour here at some point i think here in 2025 um next year basically so we'll see what happens uh it's been getting uh, a lot of play action out here uh just from the time it's been built a lot of people like this one because it's a really rugged course it's up here in the mountains it's a really cool course um and like i said around here in the hiking trail area and uh, back here by the waterfall it's uh it's pretty it's a pretty cool area A trash can. Oh, look, Jimmy, you can't use your cell phone out here. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, keep score on your cell phone. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, too bad we're using the cell phone. Yeah. Dick, how are they going to know if we're using our cell phones out here? Yeah. <laughs>
I think that's a river. Oh, there's something walking. Uh, yeah, it sounds like a clunk. Yeah, right there it sounds like something's walking, but I think that's a river. There's a hanging one. A hanging tee. Yep. Might be a moose down there, you never know. Oh yeah, that's that's the thing too. If there's like a moose or something back in there, yeah, you don't want to be playing around that. That's pretty bad. Because this is flipping season. <laughs> You've heard of flipping season, right? Yep. You mean? Yeah, basically wild animals get a hold of you and flip you on your ass. I could walk and not trip over rocks. But then again, there is a, a an urban legend of the river lady. Uh, she's supposed to live by the rivers. I don't know too much about that one. Uh, my guess is it's probably pretty similar to the Yonona, but uh, you never know. Like I said, I mean, you always hear strange stuff down by the river anyhow, so. Like, it's usually the water flowing over the rocks and making a couple sound. But, uh, like I said, a lot of stories are stories, but there are usually a grain of truth to the urban legends. Yep. Somewhere, somehow, at some point. Maybe it's Mando that keeps watching over this area. Oh, that's what we're going to have to call our cryptid out here. We're going to have to call him Mando. Yeah. So if I can find it, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, there's a sign up in the tree up here that says Mando. Uh, so I think we're just going to start calling our little cryptid friend out here Mando. Let me see if I can find the Mando sign for you. It should be right in this area somewhere. It's up in the trees up here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Mando. I mean, scoot over there so you guys can see it. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it for you guys. Mendo. So yeah, that's probably what we're going to start calling our little friend down here. I think we're gonna call him Mando. <laughs> Do you wanna go over, like, work our way back and around this way over to that side? So we go back past the haunted huts? Yeah, I mean, as well. And do that, all right. Was that you? Oh. Didn't you hear that big <laughs> sound? Yeah, it wasn't me. That wasn't you? So like, I don't know if that was caught on the camera or not, but it sounds like if, if somebody was to scuff their foot on the thing, but it was right over there. And Yumi said that wasn't him. Hmm. It didn't sound like it come from right down over here. But yeah, we're gonna work our way back up and over here. We're gonna go back up past the haunted huts. And then we're gonna work our way back around down by the river over there. I don't like that. What was that? You hear that loud bang? Mm hmm That was before the wind started picking up. Yeah, we just heard a loud bang in front of us. I don't know if the camera picked that up or not. We're right back next to the haunted huts. This is the original spot that used to have the most activity when we first started coming out here. The thing with this place is it always likes new people too. Every time I bring somebody new out here, strange, strange stuff happens. Jimmy's been back in here a few times with me. Mm -hmm. 
That came from over there. I'm sure you guys heard that one. And that thing still stands, so that didn't fall. And that that noise that we heard sound like something like that would have fallen. That's that little wood structure. I'll go back over there in a second. Like I said, we've we've got some very strange stuff out here. I think that was the tree. Yeah. Coming from right over there by the the building. There's a fence over there. There's one day I was down here with my cousin, the Wild West kid, and we were walking up this way over by the tee up to the ridge so we could go up to the waterfall. And we heard a really loud pop behind just like a stick, like a baseball bat hitting a baseball and there was nothing behind us that should have there's no reason why that should have popped as loud as it did but it did and I caught that on video that's on one of my old haunted hut videos I asked my cousin I was like did you step on a stick and he was like nope I thought he stepped on a stick but after I reviewed that video a few times and actually being out here with him I don't think he did I don't think he stepped on it So we can go back that way, Yimmy, or we can go over this way. Which way do you want to go? Well, the way everything I've got found, I think we should go that way. Okay, we're going to go this way. It's going to break down by all new things. Yeah. Well, so do I. And that's the weird thing, Amy. Every time we get equipment, we bring them out to places like this, they fall apart on us. Yeah. We have to go out and get new stuff. Well, this flashlight that right here was a hundred dollar flashlight. And there's no reason why that should be going crazy on you. Nope. But like I was saying last time that we went over to the Haunted Court Road, uh, Jimmy started having problems with that flashlight, and ever since then, it, it hasn't been working correctly. It's 2,500 lumens, and it's, I don't know if you can shut off your flashlight. See, that's supposed to be 2,500 lumens. So, yeah, there's Yemi's flashlight right there. And it's maybe 100 lumens. Yeah, that's not very bright. His light should be a lot brighter. So, you going to shut off your flashlight real quick, Yemi? So, yeah, the light that you're seeing right now is just from my little light that I have on top of my camera to help focus and that's from my flashlight and my flashlight's of um, a thousand lumens and Yemi's is 2,000 his is 2, about oh, 2,500 so his is quite a bit brighter than mine but as of right now what you just saw Yemi's flashlight's not that bright there's no reason why my flashlight should be brighter than his Careful of this trench, Jimmy. Yep, I see it. <sighs> Alright, so 
You cut across this little bridge here. So we're going to work our way over to um, some more tees over by the uh, river over here. So all we got to do is just cut across the main trail go right back over. There's the entrance for the other one. So we're going to cut across in over here. Yep, there we go. So these are... What's that, Yumi? Where we started. Yeah, this is where we started. Uh, so if you can see these right here, these are just two by fours and everything. And this is what they're going to use to make their pads out of. And something just grabbed my shirt. Something just grabbed Yumi's shirt. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe one of those sticks. Hopefully, could have been one of those little branches. Hopefully it's one of those little branches. Um, but yeah, when we were over there by the haunted huts. We heard something loud fall and hit the ground, which I thought was one of those things. I thought it was one of these pads that they're building. But that pad was still standing when we were over there. So we're going to go ahead and follow this one down a little ways and go down to some of the teasers uh, section down by the river that we want to, that I've been wanting to show Yimmy because last time we come down here, I didn't get a chance to take him down this way to show him this one. There's a lot more teas back in here too. Every time we've come out here, uh, we've never really had a chance to come over to this spot over here. Um, like I said, with them doing a lot of construction out here, chances are it's moved the uh, activity throughout this whole area. Um, thing with when you disturb an area, it's really gonna irritate whatever's out here that likes to show up, uh, whether it be spirits, paranormal, uh, whatever it is, you know. Um, when you disrupt something, you're opening up an area, and once you open up an area, it forces something to move to another spot. If it doesn't want to leave, it's, stupid bug flying my ear. Get it? Yeah. So if whatever that entity is or spirit or whatever you want to call it doesn't want to leave, it's just going to move to another area. Uh, like I said in one of my last videos, think of it as like an abandoned building uh, and you have bums moving in there. Areas like that attract stuff. And on the flip side of that too, if you go and destroy that building, anything that was living in that building is going to have to move to another spot. So think of it as like if you're renting a place and the landlord says, well, now you have to get out. You have to go find a different spot, right? The same thing with the paranormal activity that may linger in an old abandoned building. I lived in the house one time and uh, we had this big walk-in closet and our house was, uh, had paranormal activity in it. And uh, we would always hear crying in that closet. So what we did is we opened up that, we took down the wall in that closet and as soon as we took that wall down, that stopped, but it stirred up a bunch of new stuff too. So whatever lived in that closet, just either moved to a different spot of the house or it just invited something new in. Um, so just like renovating and doing remodeling on an old place can stir up activity too. Even if the place has been dormant for a long time, it can stir up activity. Watch yourself, you have any big logs? Oh, it's another hanging post. Dude, I'm down to one bar of my light already, man. Yeah. Look at that. This flashlight's dying fast. Fully charged flashlight. And we haven't been out here, but maybe hour and a half, you say, Yimmy? Hour? And this place has drained the crap out of my light. It drained the crap out of Yimmy's flashlight, too. And whatnot. Yeah, Yimmy's on the battery pack, and it's not wanting to charge, so. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and start wrapping this video down. We're going to start heading back. It's getting a little late. Our flashlights are starting to die and everything. So, like I said, if you're new to... You want to go back in the haunted huts for a minute? No, that was back in by the haunted huts. No, do you want to go back in there for a little bit? No, that was back in by the haunted huts. <laughs> <laughs> 
So Yumi doesn't want to go back in there for any length of time. Dude, I said we go back in there for a couple minutes at least. We check it out. Just from the wind, I think. I think so, but let's go check it out for a second. So we're going to go check out the haunted huts for another couple minutes. Like I said, strange stuff always happens out here in the haunted hut area. That's that loud pop I was telling you about Yumi, that yeah. Wild West kid and I heard. Like I said, one of the urban legend with this place is footsteps running around this hut. So I think we're going to hang out here for a minute or two. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and hang out here for a minute or two and just kind of chill out and see what comes up. It's probably about one in the morning right now, so. Yeah. Almost 1.30. 1.30? Okay, so yeah, it's, well, it's getting really close to the witching hour, Yimmy. Yeah. Yeah, so. But, uh. So yeah, I'm just going to keep recording until we head out, Yimmy. Yep. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and call this a video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, really appreciate all your subscribes, all your likes, everything. Like I said, I do my best to try to get back to you guys when you leave your comments down there. Especially if they're good comments. Practical comments, nice comments type of thing. See that anomaly? What anomaly? I hear the one across the road. Uh-uh. Could have been our flashlights. No. Oh, no. It was a light. It was a round sphere. It came from right here and disappeared right when it got here. Oh, wow. I don't know if I caught that on the camera. Hopefully, maybe. It wasn't a bug. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so, I'll have to go back and review that footage and whatnot. But, uh... Yeah, strange stuff happens out here. Yumi just said he caught an anomaly, like a little orb plant through the sky out here. Like I said, we're going to call it a night, uh, just because all of our equipment is starting to die on us. Oh, yeah, sure. Whatnot. We're walking out and guess what's happening. Look at my light. Oh, Yumi's light's working again, and it's bright too. Wow. Yeah. We could probably almost turn our, our lights and see out here without the lights. <laughs> That area. It is definitely the haunted hut area that keeps draining all our stuff and everything. Yeah, I'm still at one bar of my light, but Jimmy's flashlight just come back to life. And uh, with Jimmy's flashlight and my flashlight, we can plug it into the uh, the battery bank, and it'll still charge our lights, it'll charge our phone, whatever, while we're using them. And uh, you can go ahead and unplug it and have some power back into your flashlight but uh it's like Yumi's flashlight just gained full power and it hasn't been charging for very long and that's one of the things with this flashlight right here is it has a, a lifespan of four hours when it's fully charged and when Yumi and I come out here my flashlight was fully charged and it's down to one bar right now and we've only been out for about an hour and a half And another thing with the haunted huts out here too is right up the way over here there's a old 1930s hydroelectric plant that has been decommissioned and that place is uh, rumored to be crazy haunted has crazy paranormal activity to it um, supposedly you're supposed to be able to get a hold of the city uh, to be able to get a tour through there I've been trying to get a hold of somebody and no luck yet but uh, Hopefully I can get a hold of somebody that wants to do a tour in there or will allow us to go in with them to do a tour, which would be awesome. That way we can see inside the old hydro hydroelectric plant. So yeah, we're pretty much back to the parking lot now. Uh, we got across, back across this old 1920s bridge. It's a walking bridge now. It's, like, it's a utility bridge, so like the city will use like the little golf carts to run across here and stuff like that to transport. Uh, like supplies and whatnot to the golf course and whatnot. Yeah, here's the here's the walking bridge. 
Oh, no, they'll, they'll, drive, they'll still drive trucks across it. Oh, will they drive their trucks across Just it? Pickups. Just pickups. Just pickups? But, and nothing heavier. Yeah. So. Let me get out of here so I can see. There you go. Pause it and read that if you like. But, uh, so we're back here at the parking lot. Oh, yeah, there's a moon right there. It's finally come out over the spot. Probably. But anyhow, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video now that we're back at the parking lot. Uh, like I said, if you're new to my channel, hit subscribe. If you like this video, hit like. Until the next adventure.